Okay, great. So, um, we'll pick up exactly where we left off, but uh, first I just want to mention that due to technical issues with my weird computer system, by which I mean my bad old computer system, every 30 minutes or so I will be quickly saving and reloading the game. It's like 30 seconds of irritation to you guys, I hope that's okay. I have nothing left to say to this man. In fact, all I have left to do is wander around. I... I, I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Art. Thank you for thank you for following. That's super cool. So, uh, yeah, if I will get slowdowns. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go put the wine in the thing. So here we are in the vampire's castle, and uh, I definitely. Oh, is this openable? Yeah, this is where we were. So there's a. Oh no, this is the dining room. I haven't been in here. No, this is the back end of where the, the daughter chased me after I murdered her. That's right. So, yeah. Um, one thing I've noticed about this, as compared to Resident Evil games in general, um, and also horror games in general, is that this is weirdly linear. There doesn't seem to be a lot of times where there are multiple branches through which I could explore, which I feel like um, Resi games in general have usually had an attitude of allowing some extent of exploration. Uh, you know, multiple branches open up and it's, you know, you know that you have to come back and solve a puzzle at some point, but you find a piece of the puzzle and then you find a piece of a different puzzle and so on. Um, which is especially strange given how soulsy this game feels in particular, after all. Actually, let's have a look at that before I throw it away. Um, after all, there's a lot of um, FromSoft influences in this game, which is also a first for uh, the Resi series, but despite all of that, it really is just, okay, you have a puzzle, you have the one puzzle thing, you go through the scripted sequences until you find the solution to that puzzle, which unlocks the next puzzle. Well, this isn't entirely what I was expecting, but it's uh, probably what I should have expected. Love gunpowder. Gunpowder is a key ingredient in most wines. Not a lot of people know this, but it's actually a very common additive that improves the flavour. Gives a little bit more bang for the buck. This is lies. N um, all of these things I'm saying are lies. Are you implying that Lady Dimitrescu hides in the bottle in some way? Also, I saw some posts saying that it's not pronounced Dimitrescu, even though everyone in the game pronounces it Dimitrescu, and that if you're actually Romanian, you know it's pronounced s some other way that I won't try to pronounce because I'm not Romanian and I don't know what it is. So, I got the key from that. Key to the door from the castle's dining hall to the courtyard. Okay, that was back downstairs. So, I do find myself wondering, it is just a component of this of this world that there is there is just kind of always these insane locks these absurd ways of opening and closing doors that make zero sense um and the kind of like grand camp baroqueness of having nope this is Alcina's chambers where the hell was that dining room that I was in 30 goddamn seconds ago wasn't this one so, uh, yeah, the absurdity of having, like, um, you have to find all four Cerberus heads to plug into the bar relief in order to- Oh, shit. Okay, is this another sister? I think I'm getting slowdowns already. That's unfortunate and also illogical. How's it feel? I mean, I'm not not into biting, but I usually ask for- I usually expect people to ask for permission first, so... I've already killed one of these daughters. And, uh... Not bad. I mean, the game is linear, and there, because there is only one place so I can go next. It's just that I can also go to the previous places I went, and there's not much in there. 
So, uh, yeah, but this is what I was saying about it being quite linear and scripted, because this has been triggered by um, me finding the key. Now the next sort of hunter sequence is, is, is happening. But the previous um, hunter sequences are all kind of one by one. I really need to get one of those zap, bug zapper lanterns. Mother said stale, but I mean, I vampires turning into swarms of things is a very traditional thing for vampires to do. It's not exactly un, uh, unheard of. Here we go. That was the way back. I wonder if I could lure her into the same spot and kill her the same way. Is this...? Okay, there we go. Alright, come fight me outside. Come on then. Even the playing field a little. But um, yeah, it is very kind of prescriptive, I think. And one of the reasons it's not scary to me is actually because of that prescriptiveness. Um, I think there's a few reasons why this game is a lot less scary than its, pre its immediate predecessor. And one of those reasons is that, quite simply, uh, the scripting broke for me really early. When I was first testing this game to see if I could even uh, see if my computer could handle streaming it at all, that's the kitchen, which is where we got into the dining room from. Um, when I was testing it, there is a uh, an early scripted sequence which is quite uh, tense if you don't know the limitations of the simulation. You are in a house, werewolves breaking into it, there's barricades that you can use to block the doorways and so on. It's unclear whether any of them might break in at any time, and then one of them breaks in and you have to fight that one. It's very tense. It's quite, um, I felt tension growing in me as I, uh oh. Not a lot of peripheral vision on that vampire. Can I go back out? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Like, I'm clearly interrupting her. This is clearly not, um, this is clearly not the publicly accessible part of the castle. I don't know if you've ever gotten behind the scenes in, um, like a, uh, you know, a National Trust property, but they really don't approve of it. If we get a closer look, we'll see that she has bright yellow eyes, which I think is a sign of various different macular degeneration diseases, so maybe she's just really short-sighted. I mean, there's no reason to respect this knife, because it is an absolute piece of shit that he found in a hovel. So again, see, here we have it. The thing that irritates me about this game is it keeps gesturing at being an open mechanical experience, but that's simply not the case. We found the answer to that puzzle. We come into this space. It seems like <gasps> interesting. There's so many different branches we could take, but no, there is only one door we can go through and it's this one. But, uh, oh, I was talking about why I didn't find this game scary so far. Which is that the um, so I was in this scripted encounter. I didn't know it was scripted. I th you know you're exploring this village. You then you go into a particular building. The werewolves attack. You start blocking doorways. Uh, you start defending the windows against them. Then one breaks inside, and you're fighting a really tense fight in close quarters. Um, and I did genuinely feel the tension building in me for the first time at, at that stage. But then it wasn't until. Um, what have you done to my daughter? I I feel like I should be leaving her alone at this at this time of um intense personal grief. So as, there's a lot of these like locked doors with particular crests on. I assume I'm going to find particular keys that open particular doors, which is again this kind of gesturing at a mechanical depth and complexity that the game itself does not actually evince. Um, but yeah, so one of, that one werewolf who's supposed to be this tense fight in this uh, enclosed space, he, uh, he clipped into the staircase and got stuck. And at that point, I was able to explore the entire building safely without being attacked. And um, I realised that this entire sequence is scripted. None of the other werewolves are capable of breaking in. They, they slam on the doors and stuff and they move around outside, but they cannot and will not break in. So after, um, well, I mean, I can tell the difference between a couple of them. There's two that look the same and one that looks different. 
So, yeah, after all, I, she's going to be in, she's going to be behind this door. So I just want to finish my thought, which is that, you know, because I immediately then saw the parameters of the simulation and understood it, it can't scare me. Like, I know how it works now. There is the, um, uh, well, the thing about that sequence in Resi 4 is that if you fight the fort horde outdoors long enough, it still, it still goes to the next part of the sequence. Um, but yeah, so I saw that it's completely scripted. Until you kill the one guy, the other werewolves don't go away. They can't break in, they can't leave. It just goes on forever, and the entire rest of the game has very clearly been this sort of um, very linear sequence where, where it is almost uh, uh, an interactive movie. Oh, this is very Lady Bathory. Well, there's literally nowhere else for me to go, so there must be some kind of puzzle in this room for me to solve. Um, it's a shame I can't... No, let's actually, let's not talk about peeping through keyholes. Can I... Can I see this, please? Thank you. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown, so that soon the wine may flow. Well, I wouldn't be shooting through the door because that would be wasting ammunition if it turns out the vampire is not in the room. Oh, okay, this is... Yeah, okay, I see where this is going. Hmm. It seems like she won't point at the opposite figure. She she only goes between two positions. She won't look at the man on the horse. Women are blind to male advances, so she shows she doesn't want to look at that. The poor shall take their chances. I mean, I guess hmm. If there's only two positions that this object can take, then that's just that's has to be the answer, right? So let's see what's outside now. I like the bloody footsteps though. But yeah, it's it's hard to be scared when you kind of understand the parameters of the simulation. There's also this uh, sort of hunter stuff that is like... It's less... The sense of being hunted is less in this game than in uh, Alien Isolation, which is another major influence on it. This might have opened a door in the courtyard, maybe? Not this one. Yeah, I mean, the kind of like underlying mechanisms that uh, comprise the ridiculous, convoluted infrastructure of these spaces in resi games i'm super curious about i want to know like what happened in like the 16th century that is like caused these cultural changes where police stations have chess puzzles to open doors now oh i need to oh fuck of course the other statues are mobile i'm dumb Well, this is one advantage to having chat. I don't have to sit around feeling like an idiot for 10 minutes and then look up a walkthrough and then slap myself on the forehead. I'm very good at video games, can you tell? So, she needs not to be looking at them. The poor shall take their chances to give the Lord the bounty shown, so they're, they're, these guys need to give to him. Because he's clearly the lord. And soon the wine may flow. She's blind to male advances. I mean, I assume that they, uh, they will just... I mean, right, but the idea that a mad architect would be, like, allowed to just make weird police stations, you know? There's clearly a respect for the incredibly convoluted in this world, which is culturally not the case in ours. It's probably just this, right? It seems like the solution. Or perhaps not. <laughs> yeah, I do like the idea that she's just kind of like, maybe these are just the taps to her. She's enormous, right? These are the equivalent of like handheld faucets. Like, can you imagine her bending at the waist to reach these? 
This is actually this actually highlights an issue of ableism because um, this she is existing in a space that was not designed with her needs in mind. Um, and you really think that someone as as wealthy and powerful as as Lady Dimitrescu would be able to deal with that sort of thing easily? And yet here we have this particular issue. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord the bounty sown, so that the wine may flow. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing what else to do here. Women are blind to male advances. They're giving their lord the stuff. Oh, okay. I guess brute forcing it works too. Oh, hey, look! It's uh, a commode chair. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's kind of funny. I guess this is old-timey. Yeah, just, you know, just... That's a thought. If there's no, if there's no like, plumbing in this castle, no proper actual plumbing, um, do you think Lady Dimitrescu is out back squatting over a cesspit? Like, or have they installed actual plumbing? Because if they have, you know, installed plumbing in the past hundred or so years, then everything else here is the wrong size for her. Do vampires shit? Do they piss? These are the real questions the that we hell? get into here. <laughs> I love that Ethan's reactions to everything are completely out of whack with what's happening. You know, he gets his hand bitten in half. He gets all kinds of terrible things done to him. And he's just like, what the hell? The goat vanished because it's a collectible and I smashed it. Um, the Resi games do love their smashable collectibles. Oh, I see. That was a sister, I think. Or it might have been a thrall... There are these combat sequences where you get, uh, well, the vampire castle has thralls, the village has, uh, werewolves. I have these boxes, which I love to smash. It's really, um, I'd like to know which peasant was assigned the job of marching around giving, uh, with a big, bu a big bucket of paint putting yellow on all of the things that would be useful to me. It's not a water monster, it's just a it's just a guy. He's just a weird fucked up guy. As is that one. Oddly, I did find amnesia terrifying. Amnesia was the first of this kind of new genre of um being hunted survival horror. This pistol really packs a punch now that I've upgraded it, huh? So yeah, Amnesia introduced this idea of like horror where the scary thing is the fact that you are being hunted by something bigger and more powerful than you. Um, and then that was refined in... Um... Oh, I can block this off. Ha, huh, that's interesting. You can do this in uh, the village sequences as well. But um, it refines this idea of being hunted. Because one of the flaws with um, horror games, especially survival horror games, is that... Um... Games are all kind of empowerment simulators. Very few video games don't have you be incredibly powerful, especially the ones that involve shooting or guns or any kind of that silliness. So if they give you all of this capacity to be... Um... Well, yeah, the trick, the trick is to convince the player that they are being hunted, even if they aren't. Um... And how you pull that off with smoke and mirrors is the interesting thing. But the issue is that um, Alien Isolation completely managed to... Um, conv like, they did a ton of AI design work, basically, and they developed an AI that is genuinely actually capable of hunting you. And that's the remarkable thing about it. It's terrifying, because there's something bigger than you that is smarter than most animals and is capable of finding and killing you. It learns from your, from your behavior. It behaves logically. It's clearly, like, a deadly adversary. And, um, okay, the, I think if you wipe out all of the monsters in an area, it drops, like, a crystal, a bonus crystal doodad. Um, which is also the name of my first EP coming this Christmas. Uh, got a whole year to make it. Bonus crystal doodad. That's clearly the way out. I might have missed some collectibles. So, um... Yeah, the revolutionary thing about Alien Isolation was that they managed to create a very clever AI that could genuinely successfully actually hunt you. 
Um, and then they had a very kind of like immersive sim level of area design. Um, the thing about an elephant is it can't fit into the vents and sneak around. Oh, hi. Uh, you good, buddy? This one doesn't- this one doesn't even have a sword. I kind of- This is getting a little bit I Am Legend. I'm starting to suspect that these guys are- <laughs> I feel like I'm bullying them at this point. Um... Oh, I bet I know where this goes. Uh, this almost certainly goes up to that lift I found earlier because everything cycles back around in this game. Don't let me forget the term bonus crystal doodad because I am actually trying to learn to make uh, electronic music soon. Oh, okay, it went somewhere else entirely. Interesting. I hope I find a save point soon because I, I don't want to get the slowdowns anytime. What a lovely view, I say, looking out at the mist. But it is actually quite a nice view. The environmental design is really lovely. Aha, save room. That's very convenient. So I will do my first little uh, reload here. Is there anything else in here? Is there a... There's no item boxes in this game, unlike the previous one, I don't think. So I'll just save and come back. I could turn up the game audio a little bit, maybe. Uh... Yeah, I was rambling about it for a long time, but basically what it boils down to is that uh, in Alien Isolation they developed areas with a lot of systemic depth um, that follow consistent patterns of rules that can be manipulated across different areas, but in consistent ways. So you can learn to use the environment to your advantage to out outwit something that is bigger and scarier than you are. I hear a phone ringing. Um, and the problem with this game is that instead of doing that, it is just a sequence of, of scripted elements. Oh, this is the bit from the trailer. I heartily recommend Alien Isolation. It's one of my favourite games of all time. It was so scary it gave me nightmares, and the only way I could finish playing it was by getting my girlfriend to sit next to me so she could be scared and I could be brave for her. It's like we established earlier, she has very Mother, bad peripheral vision. I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Breaking Bad crossover? Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Oh, oh. To hell with the ceremony! That man will pay for what he's done. Uh, big. Also, she clearly, um, she clearly has at least one more of these dresses. I like the idea that we'll get to look in her closet later, and there'll just be fifteen of the same dress lined up, like she's a Simpsons character. 
On the other hand, she's found a style that she likes and it clearly works for her, so, uh, you know, props to her for sticking to it. It breaks my heart every time I have to smash one of these Rococo vases. Oh, I'm nearly out of bullets. That's not good. Plenty of shells, though. What sh I should probably I should probably use a healing item at some point. Um, what have I got? I've got bullets. I can make some more bullets. Uh, I can make I've got loads of healing items. So why not? Uh, just glob it on there. Just have a just have a big old splash. Um, <laughs> I like that it clearly soaks his sleeve as well. That's quite delightful. There's such a vast, vast degree of um, simulation of the areas in terms of visuals. You know, everything makes sense physically. You can liquids have transparency and um, all of that stuff, and yet the mechanical complexity of it is just nothing. We were all called by Mother Miranda to decide the fate of the child's father. Just thinking of that family meeting makes me shudder. To think I am treated like a sister to those miscreants. Especially Heisenberg. That riffraff would not know proper manners if they slapped him in the face. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't stopped me. Why, why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle, obedient daughters, everlasting life, did she not? Am I not her favourite? Am I not special? I need a drink. So, I mean, I guess that doesn't really t teach us anything we didn't already know. She feels put upon. All these people feel incredibly put upon. This must be the other side of the door we found before. Um, the one I said was locked by something. Where are you? Yeah, Ethan still does not- Oh, oh-ho. Aha, yes, okay. See, now I have a way to open this crest. And there were definitely some other doors with this crest on them somewhere else. Oh, hi! Oh, well, hi! Hey! What are you- do you come here often? Oh my god! What the hell do- You ungrateful, selfish wretch! You come into my house! You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters! And now you even try to steal my property! How dare You can, because I will hunt you, and I will break you! I gotta say, I do Go really ahead. like the, uh, worst. I really like her voice acting. Um, I think Ethan Winters' is, is ridiculous. He is the most kind of generic hero man voice imaginable, and he does not react to anything with anything approaching the correct level of, like, response. <laughs> I mean, he got his hands torn in apart vertically while being crucified earlier, and he mostly just went, uh -huh. Why didn't she just drop down after me and squash me? She wants the glory of the hunt, I suppose. Wait, hang on. Was that cutscene desynchronized for you? It wasn't for me. Uh, I'm... I mean, I don't particularly want her to step on me. I just don't see why she didn't step on Ethan. I assume she's going to be around here hunting me. I'm sure she'll eviscerate me. See, in Alien Isolation, I lived in terror of getting eviscerated by that thing. It was awful, even though I knew I would just come back from my checkpoint. In this, I, I don't, don't care. <laughs> I don't especially mind. Ooh, a thousand lay. I can't make the getting laid joke because I did that last time. Mind you, I would quite like to come in her house, if you know what I mean. To quote her. Oh no! I thought this was going to be a hunting section, but again, scripted. See, she's a Dimitrescu. Uh oh. Can I just keep this pillar between me and her? Hi. 
I didn't check every clause of this contract, but uh, that's terrible. Oh, right, my hand. <laughs> oh, cool, I get to keep it. That's so bizarre. Let's wrap this. Hi. This is having some Looney Tunes qualities now. Just run around her in a little circle, you know. Spin her hat on backwards, tap her on the shoulder. I mean... Uh, God, I've used all the hand puns already as well. Can I lock the door behind me? Would that actually stop her? Because that would be hilarious. This seems like it's going to be important for something. Oh no, my hand fell off. This is terrible. <laughs> He's just going to... Okay. Well, okay, now I know what everybody was riffing on on Twitter the other day. Okay, this is a dream. This is not a real experience he's having. 100% this is, this is like a fever dream from the end of the previous game. Either that or this is the single greatest physician who has ever lived. I hear snarling. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi, guys. Why, why are you in the sunlight? Maybe the thralls are allowed in the sunlight. The daughter definitely wasn't. I love how um, insistent the help tips are in this game because I feel like after, uh, after the amount I've played it so far, I should not be being told to reload every time I run low on bullets. It's very um, remember to reload, Dr. Freeman. Hey, gu hey guy, what's up? Hey buddy. Can I take his sword? I'm still using this shitty fucking carving knife that I got from some guy's kitchen. There's just a sword right there. Oh, it disintegrates when he does. Is that the first hit one of these has landed on me yet? Unimpressed, my good man. I wonder if these will keep spawning forever, or if this is like all the other ones. Can I pop his head? I mean, he's got his manual dexterity back already, so um, this clearly is not much of a problem for him. I mean, he gets pickaxed in the chest by a werewolf, like, quite a while ago. And that did nothing either. It didn't bother him in any way. It didn't really phase him. <laughs> I hit the back guy with the front guy. I like the way they bob and weave, but um, they're not very intelligent as enemies go. And hiding under the water doesn't count. I mean... <sighs> Maybe it is some kind of residual thing from the mold infection from three years ago, but I mean, Mia was taking medication that implied that was the mold that was for mold infection reasons, and Ethan was not. So, you unlocked it. I mean, most other Resi protagonists don't have powers beyond action movie hero powers. Like they're resilient; they're as resilient as action movie heroes. Because action movies are actually like kind of the. The key thing, uh, the key one of the key reference for the Resident Evil series. I mean, Punch the Boulder is um, the man who does that is the single most built man who has ever lived. He has uh, he has biceps the size of cantaloupes. His body is like a sack full of watermelons. It's like if any man could punch a boulder and smash it, he could. Please be aware the mistress lipstick is missing. If anyone finds it, they could they please return it to her bathroom. It is custom made and therefore very expensive. Grand chambermaid. How long ago did they have servants? Because there were definitely servants previously. And look, this is the this is the Robotnik lock again. What does this say? Please show me. Oh, please show me what it says. No. Oh, okay. 
But um, yeah, I think there's no real sense of threat in this game whatsoever. You're right about that. Um, earlier, these guys were fairly tough to fight, but they weren't difficult to avoid. And now they just die instantaneously. Is this a second tier of the hallway? No, this is a. This is an and this is a, a music chamber. They've even got a stage at the back. This is a full-on ballroom. Oh hi! I didn't know you guys were allowed in the house. She lets you up from the basement. What the fuck? You know that you do not have living room privileges. Here we have another screwball scramble. A flower swords ball, which is presumably for the other screwball scramble. I mean, they don't seem particularly servanty. We've we found like written messages from servants who were clearly like intelligent and alive rather than stumbling thralls. I do actually want to play Resident Evil 2 Remake because I never played many of the early Resident Evils. I've I've followed this series happily throughout most of its. Uh, uh, um, uh, excuse me. Huh. Okay. I thought this was a book, but apparently not. None of the other books have been liftable. One day since treatment, the three girls have stopped moving. They seem almost dead. An insect flew out of the eldest's mouth. It appears to be a common fly. Two days since treatment. All three bodies are covered in flies. It appears the flies are consuming their flesh. When I opened a window, some of the flies dropped dead to the floor. It would seem the cold petrifies them. I quickly closed the window to avoid wakening the insects further. Four days since treatment, all three bodies have been almost completely consumed by the insects. All that's left is a dark, writhing, human-shaped mass of creatures. It is just afternoon and the insects have started to change colour. Those around the face turned pale and those around the lips turned a deep crimson. Six days since treatment. The mass of insects have transformed into human bodies again. All three girls awoke, looking at me like newborns. I sense a bond between us, like mother and daughters. I've already decided their names. Bella, Daniela and Cassandra. Can I? Okay. Why, why is this move? Is there? There must be a secret to it because it's a physics object, uh, an interactable object rather than. Like all of the other objects I've been able to lift and move around like this have either been items I can take away or they have a secret to them that I can manipulate. Ah, but. Well, that's interesting. If you look in the top left, you can see that that is Mother Miranda, um, the mysterious cult figure. And yeah, you're right, yes, so we can look at the pictures. I'm dumb. And um, that strange little tentacly thing is something we've been seeing in iconography throughout the game, in uh, painted symbols and scratched sigils. So maybe there's something like the Plagas from Resident Evil 4 going on here, where there's some kind of a, a cult implantation that makes you into a monster. Oh, he's just dancing. He's doing a little wiggle. Do a shuffle, buddy. Come on. Nice. <laughs> oh hi! Hey! What's up? Your time in the club has now ended. So... Oh, I don't have enough to make any more bullets. Maybe I should not be wasting all of my ammunition. Um, just as a rule, you know. I should be practicing good ammo hygiene. Yeah, this is like Resi without Resi without the camp vibe. But um, as I was saying last time, uh, this uh, this and the previous game, Resident Evil Seven, represent a kind of a like a mechanical soft reboot of the series in a really interesting way. Um. Because Resident Evil 7 is very similar to Resident Evil 1. It takes place in a big singular mansion that you explore that's quite a, a limited location that you that has this kind of like mechanical depth as you explore around it and retread previous areas. Can I play the piano? Oh my god, can I play the piano? Oh fuck yeah! Oh fuck yeah!
So I'm pretty sure that was part of the Ode to Joy. I can't remember. It's been ages since I learned piano. Um, <laughs> but that's what you come to my channel, folks. That's what you come to my channel for, folks. Uh, me playing the piano in video games where you're not supposed to play the piano. I like that they include the, the solution for the puzzle for, for people who can't sight read, um, so you can see which note is which. I... I don't... I don't know what that is. All of these words I understand in their... in their... separate forms, but please, I... I'd rather live in ignorance. Don't enlighten me as to the nature of Amogus Rip Remix. I'm sure, I'm sure it's very poggers, darling. I have no idea what the notes for the for a Silent Hill song would be. Can I? How did I get into this area? I got dropped from like four stories up, right? Oh, I mean, I'm basically on the verge of of offering like any any patrons the the right to have me say things on stream because I know everyone loves my voice a great deal. Aha! What's this? Oh, this is this is where we came in via. Okay, fair enough. And this goes back outside. Something tells me this is the end of this area. This is it's so linear. There's a puzzle. There's an area, and in that area is a puzzle, and then you solve the puzzle, and then a monster throws you through a, through a wall, and then you're in a new area with a new puzzle. But yeah, um... Maybe I'll add that to the top tier Patreon rewards. You get to nominate a phrase for me to say. Oh, oh, okay, so I don't actually need to play the piece. I can just play, as long as I play it, each one correctly. That would be... Oh, that was a half tone off. Oh, I can't, I can't use the, the sharps and flats, that's no fair. I have a huge thing for in-game instruments that work. Cool, that did something. Ah. Oh, it's the Robotnik key. Now I can open Robotnik doors. There was one upstairs, wasn't there? I mean, yeah, this is... The thing is, this is exactly on trend for the way that Resident Evil's puzzles traditionally work. Most of Resident Evil's puzzles are not puzzles. Oh, hi. Uh, what's up? See, there you are. Oh, cool. I've managed to uh, put myself in a uh, in a dead end. That's fun. Does she object Is to this? That all? Yeah, that's all I got. I'd give you double barrels if I could. This was the Robotnik door. Aha. Open up. Let me out. She's extremely stylish and- oh, okay, another daughter. Here so we go. Finally came to see me. These bitches are terrible for my frame rate. Lady, can you not? Like, I've got shit to do. Can I smash this? Aha, what's this convenient thing that has been piloted for me? So mean. She has the energy of, like, the girl who bullies you at school. Why would you treat me like this? Why are you so mean? Hey, can you come this way? Come step on this. Why are you doing this? She hiding behind the furniture. I guess I have to lure her onto this first, so I should Why? probably pick this back up. Why would you do this? Landmines are the way we solve most of our problems in the world. Badly. No, I can't build any of this. That's no good. I'm gonna have to fight her with my knife, like... Now it's time for the true battle of champions. Oh, bullets. Fantastic. It's so cold. Excuse me, miss. Could you... Oh, that's a waste. Fuck. That's right next to the sprint button. 
Excuse me, miss, could you step this way? Thanks, that's so helpful. Thank you, thank you so much. Now stay there for a second. Well, like, there we go. You'll kill me. Don't worry, you won't kill me before the sickle cell anemia does. Blood puns. Don't you love me? Which I met you today. Oh shit, are there two of them in here? That's not good for me. The protagonist of this situation. A dream. This is a dream. The fire rate on this thing is terrible. I guess I should have got that upgrade while I had the chance. Boss so arenas like this usually have a bunch of loot in them to grab in case you run out of ammunition. Hi. Excuse Miss, excuse please, I am tr I'm trying to find this, I guess. Is that it? One bullets and one shotguns? You'd think that after a couple of times she would just stop standing in the, in the sunlight. Or I guess it's the cold they said is what hurts her. I mean, neither did your sister, but it didn't make much difference to her either, did it? Ding. I'm sick of bugs. Well, she's. <laughs> I love that one-liner there from Ethan. Like, wow, what an amazing like, what a cool, what a cool action movie hero guy line. Like, I'm sick of bugs. It's not even a pun. Honestly, it's like these people haven't even watched 1980s action movies. If he's not the protagonist, who is? Is it me? Am I the protagonist? Just like I am a real life? This is... oh yeah, there wasn't actually anything back that way. So I guess I'm supposed to come in here. I guess it's the intended path is for me to come through here, having found the Robotnik key. Buzz off! Yes, exactly right. Or stop bugging me, or like... Yeah, insecticide is really bad for my skin too. That one's terrible. <laughs> ah, well, geez, I wonder what this is. Oh, these are the masks for the front hall of, of the Dimitrescu castle. Castle Dimitrescu. Can I smash this one? No. The Rococo gilt splendor of this one is too great even for my might. Ooh. Yeah, the art design in this game is fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like, it's really beautiful and I love it a great deal. However, the general design... Actually, one thing I will say is that a lot of people... Can I ring this bell? That was probably a mistake. But, uh... Ooh, hello. Let the five bells of this chamber ring out. Okay, so I'm supposed to smash that. You know, I've got to say, this is a flattering selfie. Yeah, where does all this ammunition come from? That's a good question. Um, there are just a handful of things that we must conclude are true about the nature of the um, Resident Evil universe. One is that uh, like freakish monster things exist and can happen, and that's just a fundamental law of this reality. Like There are weird monsters and they will happen and they are caused by diseases. There is another... Yeah, it's me. I'm dinner. Uh, there, but there is another. There is another one, which is that, um, for some reason, at some point, people decided that the best way to keep your shit safe is to protect it with puzzle locks, regardless of what year it is um, or where you happen to be. And there is another one, which, um, God damn it, this bit was leading up to something, and I've completely forgotten what the punchline was supposed to be. God damn it! <laughs> I played myself. This happens every time. Um, god damn, I have no idea what the fuck I was gonna say. You're just gonna- you're just gonna have to live with being comedy blue-balled, I'm afraid. Aha! There's another one. 
So that's why there's bullets in this room. Oh shit, that was it. Yeah, no, the other the other fundamental law of the Resident Evil universe is that ammunition just spontaneously manifests. It's just a thing that is... Like, they pop into existence the same way that, um, you know, biro pens and paper clips and so on pop into existence in our world. Um, you know, you just find them in drawers in the kitchen or whatever. Uh, right, where's the final bell? I need to ring in the new year. Must be- ah, there it is in the chandelier. Haha, -ha. I'm smart. See, that that's a fun physics element, you know. It's like something happened. Yep, I knew it. That is obviously the thing that would happen. I kind of buy that all of this stuff would be like this because, like, you know, castles from like 1600 are full of these, like, or 1700 are full of these little nonsenses. Once they no longer needed to be, once they could be palaces rather than defensive military structures, then you started getting a little more silliness. Anyway, my personal theory is that there's actually some kind of a small organism which shits out handgun shells and, and shotgun shells. Um, a lot like bookworms in real life, I believe they feed upon the dust and detritus that exists um, throughout the world. And um, when they've coagulated enough of it together, then it sort of forms a, a little cocoon. Knock, knock. Can I just- I'm just gonna knife this guy. How many hits does it take? Like, how much knockback can I actually provide on him? We call this the Holloway Dance. Uh, at least those of us from Holloway do. The deal with goats is that you can shoot them and they pop, and there was something in the early game that told me not to shoot them and pop them, so now I'm making a habit of doing it because I'm contrarian. Um, most of re most of the recent Resident Evil games have had collectibles that you find. I did not see what that thing I picked up was. Um, where even is it? Ah, treasure- oh, a treasure map, okay. Kitchens, dungeon, treasure? I've, the dungeon was the, was the dungeon the part full of thralls or the one full of blood? Oh, aha. There's an heirloom worth of fortune in that nobleman's casket, but there's a damn trick to it. Something about lighting the way? Well, I guess I'll check that out next time I'm in the area. Yeah, um, it, well, the thing it said about the goats is these goats protect the village and keep evil away from the village, so please don't smash them. Um, also, Mother Miranda will be upset if you smash them, and then I smashed it and it was fine. I heard there was something called the Dagger of Death's Flowers somewhere in this castle. It's apparently an antique from the Middle Ages that's coated in a concoction of poisons from across the continent. It's said to have been crafted to kill demons and monsters. It sounds fascinating, but no one knows where it is. Well, gee, I wonder what's in that casket. But yeah, um... In Resident Evil 4, for example, there were... Actually, my favourite goddamn thing about the collectibles in Resident Evil 4 is that they were an advertising tie-in in the real world with the PepsiCo company. And Pepsi um, released a bunch of, like... Ooh, hunting rifle. Yes, please. Fuck off, there's not enough space. What do you call all this, then? Can I rotate these, please? Uh, aha, yes, there we go. Hmm, okay, how can I fit this in here? There must be a way. If I shunt that up by one, it should fit on the bottom. How do I make it go? There we go. This is unnecessarily mechanical. This is unnecessarily bad, like, controls, I think, for this. Can I have this, please? Yes, okay, there we go. I still haven't used this pipe bomb. Eventually I'm going to ruin Lady Dimitrescu's whole day with one of these. I've always wanted to- I've always wanted to um, bomb the aristocracy. Um, now we'll finally get to live that out. 
See, plenty of room. Oh, what? It didn't take it. That sucks. Okay, this is taking forever. God damn it. See, this actually is a, um... This actually is a puzzle. Unlike the other puzzle. And this one is one entirely of my own making by not maintaining proper inventory hygiene. But, um, yeah, the uh, PepsiCo tie-in for Resident Evil 4 was great. It was, um... They, they released bottles with, um... There we go. Um, plastic models of various characters and monsters from the game on top and little audio clips in with a chip. So when you press the button, it would say a voice line from that character. And you could collect those in the game as well and line them up in the game shop. Which is amazing, I think. It's very fun and very silly that Leon can find little plastic models of his own face um, and collect them for a reward from the shopkeeper. Bat monsters? Bat monsters? Bat monsters. Getting all the vampire tropes today. I... That said, I need a goddamn save point soon or I'm going to start getting slowdowns. Oh, aha! Dark Souls style shortcut. Yes, please. That's convenient. Um, that's not. Am I going to have to kill you? Oh, it's another thrall. These ones have wings. Get out of the sky, fuck ass. You dead? Yeah, you're dead. A lot of money off them, too. I do love a good bat monster. Oh, hmm. I should go down the lift, I think. Because that almost certainly leads back down to the ground floor where we found a big fancy lift previously, which will let me get to a save point nice and quickly so that I can avoid the slowdown bug. Well, it's not really a bug, it's just running out of VRAM. That's a good point, actually. I, I keep reaching back into the chat because it's really awkward for me to, to keep an eye on chat right now because I don't have two screens. I have my phone propped up in front of my PC screen awkwardly. Oh my god, I just missed a shiny thing. God damn it. Can I hit that from here? Yes. Okay, fantastic. So, right, we should be able to, with a bit of luck, go find the rotund gentleman who sells us things, unless we get interrupted by... One or more Dimi Dimitrescs. Yeah, that seems unfortunate. What is that man up to? You'd be surprised. You're my daughter! Now act like it! Of course, mother. See, that was a slowdown. This is not before time. Hey, guy. It's a pleasure to see you safe. How were things? No sign of Rose. I'm so sorry it turned out that way. Well, you'll find your way to her once you're out of this castle. Yes, I'm sure once this is over we can say I rose to the occasion. Ahead. Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find something new. I mean, you say that, but you didn't have anything new the last time. But yeah, um, I'm having trouble keeping track of the chat today, which is a shame. Stock. Does he have anything new? Um, let's see. Nope, he does not. What a liar. Crystal Fragment, Crystal Skulls, they were not worth as much as I thought they were. Crystal Torso, which is the boss reward, lockpick I'm keeping, first aid, handgun, blah 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 blah. Actually, how much is a pipe bomb worth? 300 and 300, they're worth keeping. I wonder what the markers underneath mean. Oh, the number of add-ons, probably. Hmm. Shotgun rate of fire and reload speed. I do like the handgun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's actually my favourite gun, weirdly, in this so far. Yeah. Reload speed's fine, though. I don't actually think it needs boosting. 600 to 700. Blah, 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 blah. Are guns not allowed in Australia? Rate of fire. Ugh, I don't want to level this up until I know I like what it. What are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine used to say. Oh, really? He was much more charming than you are. No offense. 
Yeah, fuck it, I'll get a boosted rate yeah, of fire. And if I'm getting more add-ons, I should probably get the upgraded suitcase as well. I still don't know. Is that 150 per bullet, or is that for a, a packet of bullets? Hmm. See why you'd right. Be have a wonderful adventure. Have a wonderful adventure. And a merry dark soul to you. Sure. Alright, give me two seconds and we will be right back. Alright, we should be good now Now for the next 40 minutes or so. <sighs> I'm sure my ancestor would be like, yes, it is good to laugh out loud. We all appreciate a good laugh out loud here. Jules, why are you looking at Homestuck conventions? I thought you would just had nothing but disdain for the entire, like, process. So I feel like I should go bother to the Dimitrescs since we heard them in there a minute ago, but I'm actually just going to go back up to the roof. I am not finished exploring. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, there we go. But it wasn't going to let me. Every day is an online Homestuck convention to anyone who ever read Homestuck. You cannot escape it. It lives inside your heart forever. It crawls inside you and carves out your inner spaces in order to make a home for itself. Oh, I love crawling around on rooftops. Actually, again, this reflects the kind of, like, soulsy influence. Um, something about wandering around on these spaces. Oh, hi. I can't even tell if some of this stuff is supposed to be a jump scare or not, like... Anyway, you're asking about which had- which, uh... Hmm. Photographs taken immediately before disaster. Can I make any of these? No. Would you like... Can I offer you... <laughs> can I offer you a fancy landmine in this trying time? I'm pretty sure it's a remaindered Soviet uh, anti-tank mine, but whatever. These guys don't drop as much loot as they as they cost to kill, really. That's I think that's true for most of the enemies in the game we've seen so far. I have not had to do much. Can I? I thought that automatically got put on my number four shortcut, but apparently not. It's just not scary. It just isn't. It hasn't been at any point. Scare isn't. S Skaint, if you will. I could have gone looking for the treasure downstairs, but I didn't want to fight Lady Dimitrescu again yet. Oh, that's inconvenient. Quickly, glue yourself back together, man. 
Okay, I'm just gonna waste all of that if I'm not careful. Can I kill it with my... Oh, it's dead already. They're not even really a scary design, let alone anything else. They're like a they're like a plastic bag caught in a whirlwind. Um, or like a seagull fighting over a dropped chip. Oh, there was a there was a smashable pot. I do love to have a smashable pot. But yeah, these these rooftops are delightful. They're so they're so beautifully rendered. This game is incredibly beautifully beautifully rendered across the board, which I think is great. It's just unfortunate that. Uh, the design and mechanics are so limited. I want my crystal skull. I want my crystal skull, bitches! Still no crystal skull. I'm nearly out of ammunition again. But even that isn't really worrying me at this point. I'm At the moment I feel like I could take anyone on with... Uh, Yeah, maybe that's what the rifle is for, I'm not sure. Um, there's probably going to be some long-range scenarios at some point, or maybe I'll just sell it. Like, I'm not against it. I think I just realised what the rifle is for. That's that's a guy, right? That's clearly a guy. Or is that or is that just a cornice on the edge of the roof? He looks super shootable. Let's see what happens. Haha, <laughs> suck it. So I think the trick is, hit them once with a bullet to knock them down and then stab them to death. Which is exactly how you should hunt uh, hunt grouse in real life. Which is also a very appropriate activity to be talking about in the face of this kind of uh, fancy mansion. Hunting grouse is fancy mansion people behaviour, or so I'm told. More like knife. Knife work you did there, Tessa. Knife job. Like, you know, I thought, this seems like a sensible idea, I'll take a stab at it. Um, I'm kind of out of cutting remarks now, though. If I can't headshot him, will he be bothered? Balls. Oh, it has a box mag, I thought it was uh, bolt action. Oh, it is bolt action, but it also has a box mag, that's nice. That was a hit, okay, this is done, that's just wasting. Uh, aha, uh, I hear another one. No! No, you're in the wrong place! I can't stab you if you're down there, that sucks. Okay. Come fight me on the land like a man. Jesus, I didn't think he would. So... I think it's time to go for a lovely ride. Right, I'm out of handgun. I've got some shotgun left. Well, I just picked up some shotgun. Does this really just go back to where I came from? I'll happily play Silent Hill 3. I played through Silent Hill 2 for... Oh, wait, I played that through for you. <laughs> See, these monsters... Oh, that... Shit, I was talking about this earlier, but... um, There is this really interesting mechanical through line between Resi 7 and Resi 8. Uh, as compared to Resi 1 and Resi 4. Resi 1 established the series and it was this very tight, localised um, se uh, series of events in uh, a really tight, localised area. Aha! Another mask. So I need these masks for the, the front hall, I think. I think I've got three now, so there's one. <laughs> oh no! I shouldn't find that as amusing as I do, but um, remarkable surprise that I would steal its its mask. Remaskable, if you will. Nice, more Dark Souls style shortcuts. I uh, I think if the entire game was based in this in this mansion and it was about like exploring around and opening shortcuts and so on, I, I would feel better about the design of this game. But as it is, uh, it feels very like I know that my joy at learning its layout will be short-lived because we'll go away and then never come back at some point. 
But, um, oh, what the fuck was I talking about? Right, so Resident Evil 1 was, um, had a very specific set of mechanics. It was like these, these, uh, panned out third person camera views. You had, um, uh, you know, the survival mechanics with very limited resources, very little supplies, um, exploring areas in like a relatively high degree of detail. Then Resident Evil 4 bucked that formula by making it much more of a shooter, much more prevalent resources, much more um, ability to defend yourself. You're shooting shooting zombies and they're, they're dropping loot constantly. Oh, hi. Man thing. You won't live long, even if you run. It's, it's hard to be scared of her when she has to duck to get through yeah. doorways. Now, the question is, can I make it to the save room? Because I would quite like to reload again real quick. Hi, uh Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. Is she can she come in here or are we cool? Is this like your sovereign territory? Are you the same are you like the same kind of thing? Oh well hold hold on a sec. Oh my god, Ethan Hunt Ethan Winters confirmed for three arms. Three arms, three arms confirmed. Yeah, um I need the bathroom anyway, so Must I'm gonna save busy. real quick. But I wanna Wish talk to, to him first. Practice? Because he said he had new stuff. Sniper rifle ammo, landmines. He doesn't actually have anything new. I think maybe it's the sniper rifle ammo. Uh, I guess I should learn how to make that in case I need to. Anything else? What are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine used to say. That voice line really wears thin. He hasn't. Um, he hasn't locked her out of her own house though. This like, all an investment. Because this. Oh yeah, they didn't drop any crystal things. Because this is clearly like he owns this sub territory. Um, this is his own little space. She sounds like she's coming this way. So, see, now I'm actually starting to develop, develop a little bit of tension, and that's because once again I no longer know the parameters of the simulation. I don't. I don't. I suspect she's not allowed in here, but she might be. Um, and I don't know to what extent she can explore the rest of the building searching for me. Anyway, I am going to take a, like, three or four minute break and then we'll be right back.
All right, we should be back. Are we good? Is anyone here? Everyone hear me? Are we all are we all sorted? Can you see the screen? Fantastic. So, um, yes, I think I think you're all right. I think he is subletting a room from Lady Dimitrescu. Or, I think we've seen enough of each other at this point that I that I should be comfortable call it, me calling her Alcina. You good, buddy? <laughs> oh, I love to laugh with friends. Um, but yeah, so if she owns the castle, if if my darling Alcina owns the castle, does that mean that this guy he's just an evil resident? Hmm. Eh. Anyway, um, I think I found the thing that goes in here. I, uh, I spent the entire time I was in the bathroom thinking of that pun. I... how does this work? Okay, it is Scruple Scramble. Not a particularly difficult one either. Am I just great at this or are they all easy? I think this guy's a Marvel villain. I don't actually know if this guy's evil. He hasn't done anything negative. Um, he f sells me guns with which to hunt vampires. As far as I can tell, he's just neutral. He's a, he's a merchant guy. I do think that this game has a problem with fat phobia to some extent because he's clearly supposed to be monstrous. However, he hasn't demonstrated any evilness yet except for the fact that he is like gouging me on prices. Seeking I wasn't calling him, I was genuinely only calling him that for the sake of the pun. Uh, very valuable. Hmm. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this stuff is supposed to be sold. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed ah. to hang on to it. I really hope it's okay that I'm selling it. Uh, let's see. I may as well upgrade. I kind of want to upgrade the rate of fire on this, actually, because I don't know if that affects, like, the lag between trigger pull and day, actually shooting a guy, but... Uh, I still don't have any handgun bullets, goddamn. Never thought I'd run out, and yet. Here we go, that's much more that's much more like it. Love my Lemmy. Genuinely, it's a really nice handgun. I have a th I have a preference for handguns in games. I, I always find myself Oh, the upgrades aren't physical components that you, you attach and detach like in the other ones that still sit in the inventory. It's just it's automatically inside the gun. Uh or the detachable ones anyway. I mean, Ethan is the only human man that he has met at all recently. If you were a large, like, gay gentleman living in a large baroque castle, um, and let's be honest, who of us isn't, then, like, I do believe that you would uh, take, a, take advantage is an uncomfortable term to use in this instance, but you would um, be happy to see the first, uh, the first non-woman who shows up, really, wouldn't you? Oh, hi. You can come in through doors. That's useful to know. I did not know that before. You still haven't learnt not to stand in front of headshots, though. So I think this way leads back around to the dungeon, which is where the treasure is. How many of you assholes are there around? I'm just going to tank this. I've got more health than I have bullets. So you can block? Did you know you can block? I haven't done it once all stream until now. It genuinely removes most of the damage. Like, I'm starting to think this guy just has fancy prosthetics. Like, in all honesty, um, like, Resident Evil is, is mostly kind of like semi, like, techno futurist, near future science fiction. Which is why bioorganic weapons exist and cause problems, and it's why um, assorted other similar things happen, and it's why some people have like, I think some people have cyber implants, maybe, to some extent. So, um, is it not possible that Ethan has uh, particularly, like, you know, maybe he has civilian level but still highly effective um, prosthetic arms, you know? 
I mean, we've seen blood in them, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I call this windmill style. This thing actually does no fucking damage. I really need to find that secret sword. Oh, I'm out of healing items, am I? That doesn't make sense. I thought I had tons. Apparently not. Okay, I have one healing item, so I think it's time for bullets again. Oh, I bet I can headshot these guys, actually. Because as we all know, vampires are weak to being shot in the head. That's the traditional weakness of a vampire. Smile, fucko. Oh, come on. This thing's useless. Alright, let me see you grit those teeth. Oh, I'll take it. I mean, frankly, if you're weak to being shot in the head, then that's just a sign that you really need to get better at things, like... Can I reload, please? Thank you. Like, rip to you, but I'm stronger. I could definitely be shot in the head and be fine. Okay, so one rifle shot will knock these guys to kill them. If I hit them in the face. And don't miss over their shoulder again. Hop, hop, motherfucker. But yeah, no, like, I got shot in the head a couple times back, um, back home. Um, you know, I got over it. It was fine. Like, I just had flu symptoms for a week. <laughs> Never. Never. Like, all I do is lie. Like, that's where all of my funniness comes from. Aha! Yes, okay, that's another Robotnik door. There, were there was definitely a Robotnik door in the village as well, so we'll definitely get back there at some point. Well, gee, if it isn't a puzzle. Oh. Plenty of handgun ammunition. These guys go down in, like, two headshots, so... Oh, a pipe bomb. Okay, so... I'm gonna conclude that a pipe bomb can light one of these, maybe? definitely move them. There was a puzzle involving knocking these things around previously. Do I pipe them over here to knock this wall in? Is that a mechanic that exists in the game? It must be. Okay, so if you can Zelda-style knock holes in walls with cracks in, that's interesting. Um, because I saw no indication of that anywhere else. That is the first I've heard of that mechanic in the game. I did not know that this had, like, Legend of Zelda. Hey, you can, you can bomb holes if you see holes in walls. Um, maybe I do need to shoot this to get it up there properly. Oh. There we go. Fantastic. I mean, I just, just rub my face on this one. You know, he's a man made of steel, let's be honest. He has one superpower, and that superpower is be broadly indestructible and somewhat made of meat. Okay, I'm just going to shoot it. Okay. Come on, oh my god. There we go. Give me a sword, give me a monster hunting sword, this is so cool. Like, I'm enjoying this as like a monster hunter Simon Belmont type bullshit game, like... That's not a... That's not a magic knife. Aww. Oh, beans. I'm so disappointed. Genuinely, I thought that the magic knife that was mentioned was going to turn out to be in here. This is tragic. Well, it, it's... It's not even... Well, it's combinable with something. So if it lists with the things that are com combinable, that probably means I'm safe to sell the things that I, I think are just sellable. I wonder what I combine it with. Like, um, I know I, I know I trash the designers a lot because we don't exactly see eye to eye. Get it? But, um, I mean, if I sell that, it's probably not even worth as much as the bullets I spent to obtain it. Like, whenever I'm doing these kind of survival games, I, I always find myself doing the maths on how much, like, one bullet is worth. Like, if you buy bullets, then you know how much one bullet is worth, and therefore you know whether you made a profit on killing guys with bullets. I think if you use more than two or three shots to kill one of these uh, thralls, then you are at a loss, my friend. 
But as like a as like a, a like a Castlevania, I'm enjoying this. Oh, I hear spooky music. There must be a spooky person around. Is there a Robotnik door out here? Have I explored this area already? I'm sure there was something else around. There was a there was a, a Dimitrescu door which we opened already. There's this thing which I don't even know if that's an openable door. That might just be might just be aesthetic. Oh hey. Give me treasure. A thousand lei. Is a thousand lei, what, lei worth one bullet? I think. Was it 150 lei for one bullet that the. Uh... Oh, I hear something. I think I hear a daughter. Wouldn't surprise me if I was being daughter hunted again. I hear footsteps. See, things like footsteps and so on are. Play with me some more! I don't want to. I, uh, okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll fight you in a moment. I really need to look at this teacup. Time to zoom. So. You will learn what it means. Oh, they're both here now. I guess I should hold back a little. Okay. Well, I don't actually know where I'm supposed to go next. Fortunately, the game pauses when you look in the menu. So let's see. Rage, joy, sorry. There's one more mask I need to find and I have no idea where it is. Where have I been? I've been to the roof, I've been... and then I came back down here, and then she's around. What did I get from the roof? I got the... Oh, I got the Robotnik key. So if I can just, um, rodeo her a little bit. Um, I don't mean rodeo, I mean bullfight. I can matador her a little bit. I mean, I'll, <laughs> I'd rodeo her too, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, hold on, Alcina, I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. I just need to find this Robotnik door. Which I think was over here. This is not it. I'm gonna get myself uh, stuck in a dead end again, aren't I? There is a map, but as you can see, she doesn't like being shot in the face, Are but um, <laughs> it just makes her grumpy, but it still lets me get past her, which is the important thing. So this is where the daughter chased us originally, and we saw this locked Dimitrescu door I've just remembered, so we can see- Oh, fuck off! What do you mean it doesn't- Oh, that was the wrong key, that's why. Right, what have we got in here? Aha, here's the final mask. Which means we should be able to get out of the castle now, provided we can get her to leave us the fuck alone. Did we go through here before? This seems awfully familiar. That should, that should be mobile. I should be able to move that. So, there's no way she can fit through here, right? She can duck down to get through doors, but... Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Ooh, can I wear this armor, please? I'm, I'm experiencing a lot of, like, chest-related trauma and a lot of neck-related trauma in this vampire castle. So, you know, a nice, um... You know, a corslet of chain would be good, or one of these. I was worried my sisters had oh, fuck off, time. girl. Come on. I'm busy. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me the way they, like, back up yeah. after they, uh... Where either? Where the hell even? Oh, this is just... <laughs> Ah, okay, I can knock this out of the way and now there's light. What happened to my... Oh, there's... here's the pipe bombs, conveniently. Because they do have to make sure you have them. Um, one left of these. And then it's time to pipe bomb. So there's a consistent pattern here. There's very few of these daughters left. Hey, go stand on that. Thanks! That was actually really convenient. That's a completely different game. I have not played The Hunt Showdown, but these women don't feel especially out of place for it. You could maybe stop that for two seconds. Jeez, what is your problem? You done so? Yeah, she's done so. Witch. 
Yeah, exactly. There's no point to... This is what I was going to talk about previously, which is that, um... Can I not? Oh, okay. See, again, this is one of these weird, um... Disparities where there is a, uh... There is a mechanic in the game, which is if you see something, you can shoot it down. Uh, but not in this instance, which caused me to waste two precious, precious handgun bullets. But yeah, I'd love to climb inside one of these, uh... What is that, a cuirass? A nice gorget? That would be good. That's how I got in, right? That's the door I came in by. My goal is to escape the castle. This is not that high up. I could make that drop and be fine. I mean, I would also like to climb inside a vampire, but um, there's only one of them left. And I'll be real with you, I have more of a chance of climbing inside Alcina than I do any of her daughters. Just because she's larger. Oh, hey. I missed that. So, uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Right, um, there is there is one of the way. <sighs> really, why did you install a portcullis in here? Like, that's just inconvenient for you as it is for me. Haven't seen any switches. What's in here? Silver ring, probably. Oh, I bet I know what that's for. Um, I bet I can. Do I? That's a key item. This is going to be very important at some point. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so I was talking about the, um, where the hell is, it's not in here, it's in here, haha, -ha, yes. Combine this with this and make this, fantastic. It looks like it should give me frost resistance, but it, uh, doesn't. Well, regardless, um, the thing about stealth in these kinds of games is that you need to be able to believe that you can stealth past your enemies. And um, in this game you simply cannot, because as you said, they are so scripted. Um, and the thing about... can I move this? No. The thing about uh, Alien Isolation is that you could genu genuinely outsmart it, you could sneak. It had a physical environment with a very high degree of simulation, so you could crawl under tables peek around corners, look look behind doors and so on. Should I just, what if I just plug my, oh, I know what that, this is what that's for. You can't use this as is, okay. So that's clearly what it's for and I just need to do something else with it. Um, but it looks like it probably plugs in here. <laughs> I'm a genius or possibly this puzzle wasn't very difficult. I love that you guys were telling me to examine it for ages before I actually thought to do that because I keep forgetting okay. to look at the chat. I should be able to get out with these. It's kind of a look, actually. I think I've improved this work of art. So, yeah, your ability to actually use the environment to your advantage to actually sneak around is key to that sort of thing working. And the fact that I have no idea if stealth even works against them. I know that they aren't very observant, they don't have good peripheral vision, but if I sneak, are they less likely to notice me? Can I break line of sight? Do they actually test line of sight and so on? Well, I hate to see her go, but I do love to watch her walk away. Um, unfortunately for me, even though she's got her back to me, I've noticed something shiny and... That's... I'm just a magpie, and so is Ethan, apparently. She didn't hear that? That wasn't subtle. The entire bloodline of House Domitress is done in by the likes of you. Not quite. I mean, you're still here. You don't need to die. Just let me go. How do I tell which one goes to which um, without being killed? Uh, oh, wait, hang on. They had numbers of holes on them, right? So, if I, oh! So if I pick the right kind of, uh... If I look at the main inven in my inventory and find out which ones have which numbers of holes, then I can plug them into the right things. I should have done that already. I'm sure, I'm sure she'll hold on while I handle this. They're also not actually part of her bloodline, because it implied in the basement that she, she kidnapped them, so... Uh, which one's that? That's... Okay, Pleasure is four, Rage is 
three. Joy is one. Is she gone? Oh, there she is. Okay. I still, I've had this since like the first hour of the game. I still have it. I have yet to actually make any use of it. Hey, could you keep walking towards me, like, exactly like you are? Thanks. You don't have to be. Bye. Okay, she does sound pretty angry now. Oh, oh, that one went in. Okay. Uh, rage was three. Was pleasure four? Yep. And this one is one, which I think was joy. She leaves this one. The real trick is to inconvenience your vampires through the medium of high explosives. Um, Van Helsing knew this, Simon Belmont knows this. It's uh, it's as true today as it was then. Time to ollie outy. Come fight me out here, come on. Even playing field, huh? 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 Not so tough now, are you? Oh, you think you're the big man, but no. I'm going to perform the victory dance of my people, namely smashing all of the collectible containers. All I want to be is someone who gets to see a giant woman step on a landmine. All I want to do is explode Dimitrescu, a giant woman. What? Uh, hmm. I seem to have dead-ended myself, but there's another another casket to look in, which is always worth doing. I mean, yes, magic dagger, fuck yes. Been after this the whole time. I should have known it would be scripted to get it. Can I, can I, can I stab her too? It seems I've only fair. At least she didn't cut off my hand again this time. Oh my- I just got that! <laughs> Resident Evil 8 giveth, Resident Evil taketh away. Oh my god, she's gone batty. She's got herself into a bit of a flap. I mean, he's also been stabbed a whole bunch of times. I mean, her quote, huge mommy milkers have in fact become toothy moors, so... That's, I've never seen... I've seen mouth in mouth as a monster design before. I've never seen four consecutive layers of mouth. What the hell kind of one-liner is that? See, she's better at the shit talking than he is. You know how in games you always get a whole bunch of resources right before a boss fight? I love how knowingly gamey this game is. And again, this matches that parallel between Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 4. But Resident Evil 4 was way more of a gamey game. Um, but it's kind of odd in this context. When you consider that... Oh, shit, okay, so she can fit through that. Good to know. Um, when you consider that... Uh, this is so much more of a... Um, a uh, interactive movie. The actual like mechanical moments are quite few and far between compared to... Um, Resident Evil 4 or most other Resident Evils. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Now I can run fast enough to uh, outrun her and get some shots in. Well, not everything. You still have the castle, you still have the, the, all of the thralls in the basement, you know? If I were them, I'd be feeling pretty disappointed right about now. Like, imagine if you heard your mom going like, I can't believe my daughter's dead, now all of my many hundreds of sons are completely pointless and worthless, like... 
Um, I've been focusing on this boss fight though, so I have not paid attention to what anyone has been saying. Right. That sounded like it was a hit. So I'm going to have to catch up on what you're all saying when I'm not focusing on landing headshots and not getting that happen to me because I am quite short on healing items. Genuinely, I misread that as egrets. And um, it is definitely too late for egrets at this stage. They, they tend to, the eagles tend to breed earlier in the year, so you don't usually get them hatching around about now. Um, I mean, she's relatively large and slow, but she's like, I keep getting stuck with these corners. That's more like it. I wonder how many stages this boss fight has. I suppose I did waste my last chance for a kill last time around because this is kind of it, right? I should have uh, done this previously. So if this is the first proper boss, I assume this is the first, like, fifth of the game. Because there's definitely four ancient lords in here in this land of not Lordran. I think we established it was Romania, isn't it? Romania. I've only wasted a few rounds, so that's not so bad. Is she taken off again? Lady, you could just leave. You don't need to get utterly slaughtered by me. Ethan Winter's Vampire Hunter. <laughs> Who would have thought the old Ethan had so much blood in him? Oh, this is a cutscene. I must have done enough damage. Physical trauma this man has been through. I'm going to assume that getting up to the surface is useful here. Lots of sunlight, we know vampires don't like that. Shitloads of handgun ammunition. See, even this, I don't know to what extent it's scripted. It's scripted. I do get the feeling it's going to be one of those critical existence failures, though. Where, um, she's fine up until the last hit, at which point she suddenly dies. Mind you, that might be true of Ethan at this point. As long as he's got one hit point, he's alright. Is she even a weak spot? I assume she must be. Well, at least I had a nice soft landing. Quite apart from anything else, I think my tactic of uh, reloading the game every, every 20 to 30 minutes has been working. I haven't seen any real slowdowns uh, or in all the audio cutscene cutscene audio bug happen either. You're right, she does remind me of an old, of an old um, 3.5 monster now that you mention it. Whenever the GM would be coming. <laughs> I'll be saving this one in my personal Your collection. cursed. Again, with the... somehow this, this guy has as bad one-liners as Leon Kennedy in Resi 4, but without the sort of endearing campness of them. You know, there's none of the kind of like, your right hand comes off. You know, it's just kind of like, you're dead, dead now. 
I'm not, so, so suck on that. This seems cool. Some orange juice. I'm sure it's tasty. I'm sure it wouldn't be terrible if I drink it. Uh, looks like I'm getting out of this place. <laughs> I love a dirty flask. I, is there a cocktail called a dirty flask? Because I feel like there should be. Gross. Where the hell? This is just the backside. This is just the arse end of the castle. I wonder if I missed anything important in there. I hope I didn't. Um, this has got to be a save room, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I straight up forgot this game was not set in like 1826. Um, I forgot that there's like modern gas burner stoves around. Um, although actually that's a wood-fired stove, so I take it back. This is still pretty old time. Okay, look, a plastic jug full of um, full of bleach is definitely. <laughs> hey, bro. What does that say? Dis hey, bro. Disinfecting wipes. For reals, if there was a real brand called Hey Bro, that would be 100% my cleaning solution 100% of the time. Instantaneously. I wouldn't even think about it. You're right, it does look like vampire piss. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a, let's have a little look at this jar. Hmm. Looks like this, oh, there's something in there. That's gross. Presumably it's one of these. This kind of like fetal thing is imagery that's been replicated throughout the entire game. I mean, there's a lot of symbolism to a fetus and especially to one that seems to be growing branches, but they seem to want to tie it into kind of like classical sigil making. Um, I'm going to assume that this is the sample from which the Dimitrescs were transformed. Um, because as we all know, this is Resident Evil and everybody's made out of weird gross monster serums and so on. I've seen several wells in this game so far, but I have yet to I have yet to discover a crank that will let me open them. Um I mean, okay, so there was the village, which was the intro, then there was the castle, which was Dimitrescu, so the first lord. I'm betting the werewolves are the second lord, and I bet I go underground to deal with them, and then at some point while fighting the werewolves, I'll find a, a way to upgrade these cranks. I don't know how to get channel points in a text-to-speech thing. I was looking at that earlier today. I was looking at the add-ons I could add to my channel. Um, but yeah, that's a good idea. I might do that for by next time, depending on how much energy I can put in over the weekend. Because uh, I'm also I also want to make some uh, channel alerts for pop-ups. I finished that item that was requested. Please deliver it to the house with the red chimney. Go through the caves to the ruins and then down into the village. So I guess there's an item there. I mean, you realise that if you keep spamming Piss Christ, I will ban you, or I will have someone else ban you. I need to nominate some mods at some point. Um, right, so uh, let's take another brief break while I, I reset my, my VRAM. You'll come back next week and I'll, I'll, I'll have added a Piss Christ emoji for you to spam. Some kind of Poggers variant. Right. Oh, hey, it's that lady I just murdered. Oh, have you been gone this whole time, uh, Dawn? Have you missed all of this, all of the boss fight and everything? That's unfortunate. 
Right, time to go explore the underground, probably. Possibly attain some kind of crank. Oh, hey, wait, hang on. That's a tap. Wait, okay, so I came out of... Does this look familiar? No, the, it was a different river. There's a river going around the castle. Not a moat, a river going around it. Different things entirely. Aha! That's locked. Um, well, that's locked, and I came out of over here. Rose, that's the first thing he said, um, since his stupid one-liner. I thought he would have at least gone, what the hell is this? In, when he picked up the jar of vampire piss. I know what I need to do. Nope. Of course not. Of course not. That would be a game that is systemic and has, like, um, you know, some kind of consistent physical interaction instead of no physical interactions working except the ones they expect you to instinctively just know uh, will work, which is a problem if you ask me. Like, part of my- part of the design problem with this sort of- See? You see? There has been no point at this game up until now where you could smash a lock. Ever. That's never been a thing. Um, I feel like it's a key component of game design to introduce the rules about what an, what a player is and is not allowed to interact with. If you have enough things they can interact with, it's okay for you to not say what they can and can't interact with, because then um, common sense takes over and whatever seems like it should work will generally work. But in a game as heavily scripted as this, with so few opportunities to actually interact with physical objects, um, I mean, it, I guess it did have the yellow stuff on it, actually. Everything yellow has been breakable or like a quest thing in some way. So I guess I'm just dumb. Fishy. Yes, fuck yeah. One fish, one whole ass fish. Let's see, what good is an ass fish? What can I do with it? Oh, it's not in here. Is it just as a treasure? Is it? No? Uh, where did my fish go? Here it is. Ingredient gathered from fish. No. <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. Use bullet on fish to obtain fish to do something probably at some point. In Resident Evil 4, which again, this game is borrowing its kind of like intense... F oh, of course, I should, could have just could have just knifed it. I mean, maybe I can't. Fantastic. What the hell was I talking about? Right, so yeah, the way this game takes its uh, its its leads from Risen. Oh, there's no subtitles for this. Midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make the sacrifice and await the light at the end. This is the prayer we heard previously. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Hey, remember me? I almost died up at that castle. Tell me what is going on around here. How can a man be almost dead? That's a question for the wise. Make it sound like a riddle, but it's really not. You know what I mean. And I still haven't found Rose. Where did Mother Miranda take her? <laughs> You're too late. Or maybe almost too late. The child will be sacrificed. Life for life. What kind of sick medieval shit is this? She's just a baby. The crest of the four bloodlines may open the path you seek. Will you please stop talking in riddles? I just want to find my daughter. It's only a riddle if you don't know the answer. <laughs> I think a riddle's still a riddle even when you <laughs> do know the answer, like technically. Wait a second. That looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, hey. no shit. Hey, wait! The kind of comical gestures at the history of the Resident Evil series are really amusing to me. This is, of course, very similar to the Umbrella logo. The, um, like, double cross, light and dark uh, pattern, regardless of the boss at the centre. But we clearly have uh, four houses, right? Alike in dignity. House Dimitrescu, House Bionevento, House Heisenberg, and House Moreau. We've seen, um, 
We've seen the four of them previously uh, united under the uh, lady... Like, uh, no, Mother, what's her name? Mother something. Mother Teresa, let's say. Um, but this is the Dimitrask logo that we've seen. This must be the... This must be the... Uh, werewolves, right? Because it's got a moon on it. The two classic kinds of uh, gothic monsters we have. Vampires, we have werewolves. What are the other two classic gothic monsters? Ah, yes. Fish people and creepy puppets. The other two famous houses. But in all honesty, the lack of any kind of, of the... Uh, like, the trappings of the series up until this point kind of makes me wonder if there's something else going on here. Use winged key on winged door. As oh, don't forget how much Dimitrescu had all those thralls in the basement. It's very fitting for a vampire aristocracy to have a bunch of thralls, whereas, like, the traditional vampire werewolf, um, like, oppositional factions there's always like a shit ton of, of werewolves because they're a pack you know that's that's like the uh, the thematics of werewolves are all about you know the pack and the hunt and, and and these group dynamics whereas vampires are always very powerful singular figures and this is just skyrim ah oh, beans did i did that drop on the yeah it did oh well that's unfortunate. oh can i grab it yeah there we go it went inside this statue, but that's fine. But yeah, this just this is straight up Skyrim. Um, it even actually the the snow on the rocks even looks very similar to the snow on the rocks in Skyrim, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's weird that uh, Capcom have decided to take their very sort of grounded. Um, I mean, a lot of absurd camp bullshit happens in the Resident Evil series, but it's always grounded in physical ideas. It is a disease made by scientists that makes monsters, not like... Um, there's never magic stuff going on. So it's very funny to me that they've decided to sort of make this one kind of everything. It's really familiar, yeah, it was down there in the basement. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, it's really funny to me that they've decided to just go full fantasy with this one, which also makes me wonder that maybe something is going on. I may have had a spoiler or I may not. I'm not certain. I tried really hard to avoid all spoilers for this game. But I might be mistaken about something towards the end of the game. Um, entirely thanks to what I would call bad wiki management practices. You know, I never got that line about the claw being smaller than it used to be. I literally never understood it. Is this guy going to get up and go blarg at me? I don't want to waste one of my few remaining bullets. Hey, get up. Buddy, you good? Nah, he's fine. Right. One down on one knee. Assume the correct stance. If I shoot him, will that fuck something up? I'm sure it's fine. Actually, this game is so scripted that if he's supposed to be in a cutscene, shooting him now won't make a difference. I'm sorry, were you guys supposed to be- oh fuck, god damn it. Um, that was a complete waste. I uh, I meant to sprint, not do that. Yeah, these guys feel like less of a threat when you can just pop them from a distance. Now, I'm supposed to go through the ruins, I think, and then back around to the town to find something at the red, the red tower building. You good, buddy? Oh, is this the back? This is this is the door at the back side of the village from the start. I bet it is. Uh, no, it's not. I don't know where this is. What happened to the one I shot? Come on, I want my loot. The other guy gave me his lay. Well, well, well. They're, they're clearly aiming to be the, uh... Wait, hang on. Game of the Year doesn't... Uh, there's bound to be a crank I can put in here. Game of the Year does not make the letters G-O-A-T. That's greatest of all time. Um, so clearly, I need to figure out some other 
kind of uh, acronym. These must be the ruins that were mentioned. Game of all times. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh. Um... I love the metal scrap that you're making into bullets. You're apparently doing this on the fly. As we all know, Ethan is the strongest of men. He's got Superman level strength and resilience and endurance because the shit he's been through, come on. Uh, hmm, what, what might fit this lock? How many more keys do I need? Actually, um, yeah, I was about to say these are really nice frescoes. Um, I think these are really well observed because they actually do reflect um, genuine arche uh, archaeological finds of frescoes from what feels like the roughly the correct era for the history this game was going for earlier. Um, there is no way that Castle Dimitrescu dates back to when they said it dates to. However, this definitely does. Um, I could easily see these frescoes being eight, nine hundred years old, but well preserved, which they wouldn't be this exposed to the elements. But based on based on the art in them, I could even see them being like six, seven hundred years old. I don't think Ethan was the Resident Evil. I'm starting to suspect that he might be the legend. Uh, he am he am legend. Uh, one thing I have been meaning to try but have not done is can I shoot these down? The answer is no. See, other stuff I can shoot down and get loot out of it, but not this. Anyway, I've been around in here, there's nothing, I've been around in there, there's a chest I can't open. I can't go down there because I don't have a crank to lower the bridge, which means once again, yet again, there is only one path for progression. The same criticism I've, criticism I've been leveling at this the whole way through. It's also kind of funny, it was really difficult for him to open this a second ago, but now that it's gone through the cutscene it's really easy, you know. Like, you know when the hinges are stuck, but then once you, you crank it back and forth a couple times, it starts working? This sure is an extremely overused horror iconography of the goat-headed or sheep-headed man. Definitely never seen that before. Ooh, cutscene time. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure night, it's about you, but why do you like my piss? You have your daughter right in your own hands. What are you saying? Take a closer look. Potted daughter is actually a classical recipe from that era, so it does make sense. <laughs> Would you like a jar of head? I thought that was going to break. That flask seems to contain her head. No. What? Roses. Don't say another word. Yeah, at this point you're asking, you're flasking for trouble. This this is impossible. This just can't be. Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Oh, who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. It's a pretty jarring shift in tone. And get to the damn point! You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? Your choice. The customer is always right. After all. He'll pay you if I find out this is a lie. <laughs> Fuck joker. So I normally have this thing about like, oh, don't assume that something's a, like a literal physical narrative. Don't assume that everything must be like things that are truly literally happening to a character or they are having some kind of a psychotic episode or dream or whatever the fuck when things that are non-literal happen. 
But um, the thing about the Resi series is that it has always been very grounded and very focused on a um, on a, a, a real world with physical implications and with no spiritual dimension. Um, therefore, the fact that this... Was that not the right key? Oh, this, this is four wings instead of two wings. I see how it is. Um, but the fact of that tradition in the series and the fact that there is so much, like, stuff that doesn't add up, like his baby is six months old and he, he had her in her in his arms yesterday, so how exactly is this she in a canister that is clearly, like, decades old at least and covered in dust and so on? Like, there is definitely something going on here more than, um, just, like, I think this is, I think this is some kind of, like, uh, mythical or magical thing going on, but the fact that it's taking place within the Resident Evil franchise means that it can't just be a story that is this way, because that's not really how they do things um, in Resident Evil. Which means, therefore, that it probably is some kind of like silly dreamscape bullshit. Well then, feel free to peruse. Oh, you're right. It could be an old prototype type thing, but um, I'm not vibing with that. I don't think that's what it is. I'm tempted to hang on to this one. Elegant yet horrifying, just like me. So you can sell fish. Uh, so it was definitely worth doing that. It says ingredient. I th I think that just... I don't think that means a crafting ingredient. I think that means that it's just an ingredient for, like, cooking. It does have Pan's oh, Labyrinth vibes, actually. It's, press. um... Beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. If you combine fish... Oh, look, see, I can un unlock new levels of power for my beloved handgun that I genuinely really like. One moment, please. Does he have anything new to buy? Ah, the next upgraded suitcase. But my suitcase is still kind of full. Pipe bombs. Uh, I mean, will I need them? Better scope. I don't actually need a better scope yet. Uh, reduced weapons. Way increased. I'll just get the ammo capacity increased. Nice. One of my favourite aesthetics is an inst extended mag sticking out of the bottom of a handgun. I find it really appealing for reasons I don't entirely understand. I'm a bit short on healing juice, so I'm getting one of these as well. Yes, I can see why you'd be interested in that. <laughs> the most generic possible Drama. line for a merchant to have. Used to be alive. Yeah, I mean that's possible, and it's not um, that unlikely. But, because um, they're clearly willing to do this whole kind of reset thing. But Resident Evil 4, which again, this game is taking its, it, like it's taking its uh, direction from, also had kind of an implication of a spiritual dimension because it's based around a cult, but rather than a, a corporation or whatever. But it still ultimately just turns out to be all physical things that physically exist. Um, oh, I never noticed that. No one's a stranger to the Emporium. That's, again, this guy keeps making references to the Resident Evil 4 recurring merchant. He calls you stranger all the time, so this is this is clearly in reference to that. Can't afford that anymore. Don't want to buy bullets. Do I want any of these? Not really. I should upgrade more then. More shotgun and reload speed is good. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Um. Hmm. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. <laughs> he always sounds like he does want to throw hands with me. I've thrown more hands than you can possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. I think guns are evil things Thank in real life, but they fascinate me as physical objects. I am curious to see if any of the guns in this game are based on real guns because one of the notable things about Resident Evil 4 is that all of the guns in it were, in fact, based on real um, extant guns, which is just a neat detail. They were all, they were all given fake uh, names, but they were very definitely the guns from real life. So I'm going to take a quick break to reset this again because honestly, at this point, it's become a ritual. Then I think I'll explore the next section and then we'll see where we're at. What's up? 
Oh, right, I'm on mic still. All right, we should be good. Um, I've just realized I forgot to jot down the times I was doing this. I was going to take note of the uh, length into the stream where each one of these was done so I could edit them out of the upload more easily when I put it on YouTube, but tragically, I have forgotten. I might not bother. Um, let's see what this is. Ah, I see. So I guess I'm going to gather all four bits of my daughter and plug them into this mysterious artifact. That's two thirds of his lines in this game. What the hell? That's so strange. What's going on? Please don't hurt my hand again. Uh, oh, hey, I've actually got. <laughs> increasing the magazine size has made it so that I actually can fit all of my bullets in my gun now. Ah, we are back at the village. Okay, so I guess the village is the domain of the werewolves, then. To some extent. Where have I not been? Let's see. So that leads back to Dimitrescu. That's... Uh, ah. Aha, there we go. Graveyard, the church. That's That was back into the Dimitrescu castle to begin with. Um, I wonder if I can get back over there later. Aha, a Robotnik door. I remember that from earlier. Louise's house, which I haven't been back to since it was full of horrible things and burnt down. I could probably smash that open. So that's to my left, which is this way. Looks like, looks like it might be coming on to rain. It's locked from the other side. This was definitely shut previously. I couldn't get through here. And this was locked as well. It still is. I really want to know what that is in there. Oh, aha! Well, don't throw good bullets after bad. These dead guys weren't here, though. Is this just like the rest of the people they found to murder? Uh, right, that led up to the Dimitrescs. That leads to the Stronghold and the Mill, and the graveyard is that way. What's the Stronghold and the Mill? Oh, that's a six-wing door, so I won't be able to get through that. I, I assume I'll be getting keys that I combine with my current key. Oh, uh, I did actually have someone who was... Uh, Icarus, if you're around, can you ban bots or spammers? Uh, if not... Um, Ev, can I, can I make you a... A... Uh... What do you call it? Oh god, I'm getting really tired. I should probably stop soonish, actually, because I'm I'm running out of brain. I have no idea. Aha, there we go. That should work, I think. Um. So Ev, if you're uh, still around, by all means. Ban things that you don't like. 
really abuse your power. Be really unfair with it. Oh, this was locked previously as well. But there's a freaky guy down here. Teddy bear. Just an ordinary one. Um, I'm disappointed. There does not seem to have been a freaky guy. So, um, this is open, that was open. Can I go back to the very first area, though? Because the old lady locked me in here when she came through here previously. The answer is no. I mean, I feel like I'm clawing at the walls of this simulation. I'm desperately going, please, please, let me do something. Let me explore. Even though I know that it's... Um, Probably uh, only going to let me go in one direction because that's the way it's been so far. So if that's the case, I can only go off down that way. But I do want to check inside the church before we do that. I've got to say, I feel way more confident holding a gun with 20 but Oh ho, interesting. This is new. Some a scientist has been here. Operation date 2-9-2021. Recorded by NH. 11.35. Arrived at site. No sign of EW or RW. 12.10. Infiltrated village. Engaged with number of bioweapons. Found evidence of EW. RW location unknown. 13.10. Established base in church. Plan of operations LBTDK9. Search the laboratory. NHUE. Analyze mold. Alpha. Infiltrate factory. So it looks like uh looks like dudes are here. Looks like some guys are around. Looks like there's uh, some pals for me to find. And um there do seem to be an array of these uh aha oh actually yes I want to open this. I want to see what's behind the robotnik door. Um There is this uh like tradition in the setting of having all of these kind of um Paramilitary groups set up to curb the threat of international bioweapons. Oh my god, chickens. I could... Did I, no, I should... I could. I mean, I may... No, I shouldn't. I want to test the parameters of the simulation, but I... Alright, I'll let you guys decide. Do we kill a chicken? Let's see what happens. Alright, that's one vote for don't kill the chickens. Um, I mean, chickens, though. They're not seagulls. They're just chickens. Okay, well that's two votes for not harming birds. I, uh, I'll give in. It's fine. Locked from the other side. That's an alarming thing to hear about a crypt. Oh, okay, wow, that's equal votes. However, one of them I live with, so let's not, uh, let's not cause trouble in the household. There is bound to be at some point in this narrative a moment where I kind of uh, emerge from an underground sequence and pop up out through a crypt, so... Um, I don't know whether to put my money on this crypt here that says it's locked from the other side, or the other crypt that clearly has something useful in it. I don't know if they lay eggs. I was wondering if they would drop eggs if I shot them, because the ones in Resi 4 do that as well. If you chase them around, they'll eventually drop an egg, but if you shoot them, they definitely drop an egg. Egg. Egg me. Egg, 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 egg. Eggy, 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 eggy. Um, I wonder how many I could get, although well, I probably shouldn't be counting them before they're hatched. You know? But it would be great if they would just lay some fucking eggs so that I could put them all in one basket and take it with me. Uh, anyway, chickens aside... Um, chickens aside, what was the fuck I talking about previously? Um, oh, right, the, the Resident Evil franchise has these, like recurring running entities who who always show up there's always the umbrella corporation <laughs> bugged nice um and the umbrella corporation always does incredibly unethical bio research because it's a, a weapons manufacturer that's making bioweapons and in this setting bioweapon basically means thing that makes people into zombies or monsters or whatever i actually think that these games um exist in a very similar milieu to the um to hideo kojima's metal gear solid games which I really enjoy, which is this kind of, like, camp 
um, techno futurist like um, capitalist horror with you know PMCs and uh, weird semi future tech, um, which isn't quite like proper proper to the time it's set in. Um, and so because of that, uh, I kind of feel like there's a similarity between them. And another one of these similarities is these kind of like extremely, like excessively deep lore, which is entirely based around these um, ostensibly real sounding um, like nonsense uh, organizations and all of their ridiculous bullshit. All of their snarky horse shit. I think you can tell they're dead because they stopped bleeding. Which is true in real life of real people as well. In case you, in case you ever need to find, find yourself needing to test whether someone you've stabbed is alive or dead, if they're still bleeding, they're probably still alive. I'm, I'm hearing noises from the other side of the room that imply I'm speaking bullshit again. But that's what I do, you know. Um, I just ramble. I just say whatever happens in my gay little brain. So. One of the one of the recurring trends in these in these games is this are these like different paramilitary groups with their extensive law that are kind of treated with the same sort of like ideas and design as like adventuring parties parties in a fantasy setting and like groups of adventuring heroes and so on. Except that it's you know um, the special tactics and reconnaissance unit of the Raccoon City Police or it's. Um, the United Nations Anti-Bioweapon Initiative, or whatever the fuck they're called. And so they all, um, you know, run around doing their, like, paramilitary hero bullshit. <gasps> piggy! Pig, 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 pig. Hi! Hey, buddy! You good? I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna look in this well, because I, I still don't have whatever makes it work. Now, there was not a pig here previously. So about 12 hours ago, there was no pig here. Which means that, but like definitionally, someone must have brought that pig here in like the last, like the last six to twelve hours. Which is after this building burned down. Ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Explosive rounds for what? I wonder. That seems like a completely normal and cool thing to wear around my neck. That certainly doesn't look like it's going to stab me through the throat if I trip and stumble. What, can I hide in the... can I hide in the shitter? No, sadly I cannot. I can tidy it up though. It's always polite to keep the door closed so that visitors don't see in. So what you're telling me is that pigs are like fungus. They, they, they reproduce via spores and a spore landed there 12 hours ago and that pig has rapidly developed into existence since then. Um... Because it couldn't have got in there accidentally. It's in a fence in, like, a blocked-in back garden. It would have had to have been lifted in through the door or the window. I think I've cleared this area out. I don't think there's anything else back here. So you get these, uh, these ridiculous, um, like, paramilitary hero groups going around investigating companies that do bioweapon manufacturing or sales and... In the same way that like Hideo Kojima's games have this this conception of like noble paramilitary corporations and evil paramilitary corporations, and there's kind of there's a sort of a baroque complexity that, to these stories that feels completely unlike anything else. It doesn't fit the kind of like cyber thriller genre. It doesn't feel like that kind of story. It feels like a an epic fantasy story, except that its setting is one of like modern near future cyber terror instead of like fantasy times. Um, and I think that's really neat, and it's, it's actually hard to think of other other stories that fit within those. Um, fit within that milieu, and um, I mean, there's, there's definitely a fucked up guy in there. Yeah, there's only one way for me to go, one place for me to visit, and it's the place that's got a blood trail leading into it. I honestly don't think that uh, werewolf men are particularly scary, but whatever. I'm sure I'll be startled by something in a moment. Oh, hey, look. Oh, did he clip into a wall? Is he supposed to be doing something and he's not because it's bugged? Is that what's going on here? Hey, guy. Hmm. That would be... I'm gonna call it now... Infuriating. 
Um, but yeah, so within that context, like you have been being trained by one of those hero guys, Chris Redfield, one of the, the, the series recurring protagonists, and it is his job to hunt down and destroy um, weird bullshit, I guess. Oh, I was supposed to go to the, the house with the red tower. That's this one. That's locked. Uh, and I can't go around this way. That's locked. So I think the only way to get in is through here. And uh, I guess that's another house with a red chimney. Huh, that's two. But it must mean that one because it's got yellow paint on it. So when he said go to the house with the uh, the red chimney, what he meant was the one with the chimney that's got yellow on it. That's nothing. Um... Am I missing something, or is it just bugged? I bet he's supposed to be here, because I definitely saw something clip through this wall. Um, am I going to have to reload? That sucks. That sucks so bad. Let me through! Hmm. Can I... This is blocked around the other corner as well. This is definitely busted. This is broken. This isn't supposed to be happening like this. Hmm. I mean, yeah, no. So, uh, well, his, obje his objective is, like, the objective of these groups is not to secure, a, uh, contain, and protect. It is to just fucking destroy it all and have done with it and be be out. God, um, okay. So the way up there was locked. The way up there was locked. The way back down to the village is locked. That doesn't go anywhere. Aha! Is this locked? Bet it's locked. It's bound to be locked. Oh my god, it's not locked. Oh, but that's where I came from anyway, so that's not relevant either. Oh, buggy game. Buggy game getting on my tits. That's twice now. Um, I don't like things clipping into walls and forcing me to reload. <laughs> I am not welcome back to the castle, Dimitrescu. Oh, hey, fishies. I'm not going to bother hunting these fish because, like, if I have to reload... Fuck it, I'm just going to reload because this is not functional. Okay, right. What did I... I don't know how far back it's gone. I don't know what I haven't gathered. I went in this basement previously and it was full of stuff and I've obtained the stuff that was in the basement. I wandered around and did a bunch of stuff. I, I went back up to the ruined house and I found explosive rounds there. So if I look and I have explosive rounds, which I do. What are they for? There must be a grenade launcher or something. Oh yeah, grenade launcher. That's fun. I'm glad to know there is a grenade launcher for me to find. Gee, it sure would suck if a spooky man jumped out and tried to scare me. That would be terrible. I'd be very upset if that were to happen. Oh, okay. Guys. <laughs> Guys, I mean, I know you love my work and you enjoy my channel and everything, but I'm so fucking stupid that it's not really viable. I'm just going to climb in the bin now. Like, if you want to watch any more episodes of SCA Plays, it's all in the bin. There was a door. There was a door. There was a noise that showed me where the door was and I didn't pay attention to the noise. Now I've gone through the door and it's clearly where I'm supposed to go. It's a linear game. It wasn't even busted. Can I climb inside the cupboard? There's nothing in there. Can I? I could fit in there. That'd be a safe place to hide. Uh, just sit there and hide until all the horrible monsters have gone away. It's not very often you see a functional standing loom. That's actually a nice thing to find. That's pretty cool. Can I take this with me? Like, these are, these are pretty valuable in the modern day. It's surprising that someone would still be using it. Oh, hey. Okay, so that's one of those that's not smashable. I wonder if I'll find another part and then smash it just to get the uh, collectible. Hey, Mr. Spooky Guy, I know you're out here somewhere because I heard you breaking things and I've also killed like 15 werewolves like last night, so it's not really a problem. Why don't you come out here so that I can fill you full of bullets? Or even just shoot you in the knees and stab you in the head, which also I do. 
I, well, I'll be honest, I was hoping it would go somewhere else before it came back to the werewolves. I want to see what's up with the creepy puppets. I want to see what's up with the fish monster. Hey, there he is. Buddy, you suck. You suck super bad. I say as I fail to shoot him in the face from two feet away. Done so. Why do you think that was in there? Do you think they ran out of paper? They resorted to rusty metal. <laughs> I, uh... Is this... Is this a glory hole incident gone terribly wrong? He was definitely out here and he was definitely in there. Yeah, it is, it is noticeably a lot more powerful. I only upgraded it a little bit. It went from like 100 to 110 and then like 150 or something, so... It seems disproportionately powerful to how much I've upgraded it, or at least to what the numbers are. Because it took like 15 shots to kill one of these guys. Oh hey, we're back here! It's rocking all by itself, how creepy. But yeah, no, we were talking earlier about how um, it's interesting that Ethan is apparently able to um, manufacture bullets in his bare hands in a couple of seconds. So I assume that he just has extremely strong wrist strength. This is why he's able to, like, his hands are so fucking resilient that he can get split in half by a crucifixion and be fine. You know, his hand got cut off, but he could, he could just put it back on again and it's fine. And why is this the case? Because... You know those wrist trainers? He spent 15 years using those all day long. He has got the wrists of a god. He um, absolutely can, um, like, it wasn't the healing juice that fixed his wrist, it was the fact that he plugged his wrist back on and he clenched it back together with the strength of those immense, mighty um, tendons. That's my head cannon. I'm sticking by it and I've been here before. This is where the game started. I wasn't expecting us to loop all the way back to the very start of the game already, but um, I don't see anywhere else to go. See, again, the incredible, like, upper, like, forearm strength of this man. Those things are like pistons. He's able to completely smash a rusty lock to bits with a single thrust of a, of a blunt knife. So, based on all of that, I choose to believe that he's simply picking up some rusty metal and some gunpowder in his fists and squeezing tightly, like when Superman made a, made a gemstone in that one movie. Hmm. That, this man clearly has something plugged into the back of his neck. Oh, that's a bit spooky. Look out the window. Uh, 0704YMO. Oh, hi. It's been a while since there was a jump scare, huh? Honestly, I fought your big brother and I did not care. I also fought several vampires who are inherently better than werewolves. So, like, you know, shoo, shoo, bad dog, go away. Okay, right. Um, naturally. Okay, so what have we got? We've got 070408. 07. Oh, that's, that is not 7, that's 4. 704. 08. That's the wrong one. This is the slowest lock I've ever had to twiddle. We good? Fantastic. Ooh, nice! Now this one is a real gun. I wonder if the lay is a real gun. But, um... Does this mean that my lay is now obsolete? Does this still use the handgun? Because this looks like a... It looks like a 9mm, but the M1911 is definitely a 45. It's usually chambered in a 45. Um... Does it take the same ammo? Looks like it does. That's a shame. I'd love to see its comparative stats. The M1911 is a beautiful handgun, which is why it's in so many games. Um, designed, I, I'm not sure if it was designed for the American Armed Forces, but it was the standard sidearm for like 30 or 40 years, I think, um, of the American infantry. For a good reason, because it's really reliable and it hits like a fucking truck. So, is that all that was in there? I thought there would be... I thought there would be some kind of a tool I could use to, to power the... Oh wait, I should follow the cable. You can cuddle with a vampire, it's just that it's like cuddling with a mannequin, you know, they're all icy cold. Okay, so there's a cable underneath, it runs underneath, I need to go back all the way around and find out where the other end of that cable goes. 
probably cap a few more guys on the way. Um, because they really haven't learned not to fuck with Ethan yet. You think they would after a certain point? Right. So, where does the cable go? Oh, this is a different thing then. Okay, god damn it. If I was a yellow tra cable coming out of a tractor, where would I go? I think I would coil up in uh, in a shed. I think it, I think I would be nice and cozy coiled up in a shed somewhere. That is definitely where uh, I have found cables hidden. Wing T, iron key, Dimitrescu key, treasure map, photo, necklace. It runs underneath. What's on the other side of here? That's blocked, so I can't get there. Uh, I go back around through there. Can I get in here, maybe? Huh. So I came through here, and then went up to here, and then out here, and then out here, and then down here, and then... This is this is blocked, and this is blocked, so I can't get to the other side of this. I'll, I must have to come through here. That must be it. Which is this building over here. Which said it was locked from the other side when I tried to get in. I guess it does explain why they had such a large area here at the beginning. I thought that this was just going to be used... When I first got into this area at the beginning of the game, um, I thought that it was going to be like a big area that you come back to really frequently, like a hub that you explore constantly. I thought the first like couple hours of the game would be exploring the village. After all, it's called Resident Evil Village, but... Um, this is another tractor! Can I not just use this? But um, after all of that, after after that scripted sequence ends quite quickly, I was surprised um, to end up back. Ah, uh, aha. Okay. I was <laughs> I was so caught up in the joy of finding a new firearm that I forgot to check underneath it for another object, which is incredibly useful. Two, three, four. I think this is a job. I've used all my pipe bombs. So I guess this is not a job for Mr. Pipe Bomb after all. This is going to be a job for Mr. Lemmy. With a little bit of assistance from James Shotgun. And, a, and guest starring. A snapshot from a rifle. I feel... I feel too good at this. Like, I know I'm good at video games, but I feel like I shouldn't be this e having this easy of a time. Um, I guess I am playing on medium difficulty instead of hard, because I har heard hard was, like, insane bullshit balls to the wall difficult. Like, bugged difficult. Like, they they tuned it too high. But honestly, at this point, uh, I'm not so sure. Oh, hey, it's Jack Handel. <laughs> Of course, he was he was friends with he was he's friends with James Shotgun or whatever the fuck I called him. Is that it? Can I get through here now? Fantastic. Please don't drop this on me. Like, if they wanted to kill me, that would have been when to do it. No one is at their, no one no one is ever more vulnerable than when they're crawling under a tractor. So that leads back to where we very first came from. This is the backside of that smashed tractor. Or not. <laughs> Dipshit. Right. Bag him and tag him, lads. Um, I feel like I should be constantly spouting, like, oorah marines-isms, but, um... They're not subtle, are they? Oh, hey, there's the other one. It's cool that you guys, like, yell at the sky. It makes it really easy to do this. Oh, hey, crystal skull. And another crystal skull. Is that worth the value of the bullets I pumped into them? I do not know. Okay, I'm not I'm not clearing that blockage anytime soon. It's in here. Ah, shortcut. Thank my... I see how it is. I see how it is. So that door looks super smashable. I'm not sure if it's worth dropping a pipe bomb on it, but like, 
Maybe that'll work. We know that some stuff's smashable, right? Uh, this is going to be super of a waste. The thing about Ethan being good with a rifle is actually kind of... Um, like, in the previous game, he's just some guy. He has, like, an office job until he goes to rescue his wife from mold monsters. Um, but they say at the start of this one that he's been... Like, he spent the last three years training with... Ooh, big lad. This guy's like... This guy's like a unit from a, a real-time strategy game. This is ridiculous. Uh, he's an absolute unit, if you will. A lot of stopping power on this thing, my arse. I should not have used my only landmine. Should I use my only pipe bomb? Probably. Come step on this. Oh, we didn't. Very rude of him, frankly. I know how to do this. I bait him into going into a wall and I shoot him in the back. That's traditionally how you deal with these monsters. This guy's a lot more resilient. Um, but damn, what the fuck was I talking about? Because I don't remember. A bit more room to manoeuvre. Well, that staggered him. Aha! Not so tough now, are you? Oh, that's inconvenient. Very nice. Yeah, so, um... At the end of the previous game, Chris Redfield, series regular, shows up and is like... We came to save the day, it's just a shame we got here a little bit too late. Um... And, like, props to him. He did show up in the end. But, um, yeah, that's when that game ends. And then, at the start of this game, they basically indicate that uh, you've been spending the last three years training with him to join his, like, uh, his particular special forces anti-bioweapons anti unit. So if that's the case, it makes sense that he's good with firearms now, even though it didn't make sense that he was good with firearms then. To whom it may concern, due to Luthier's long absence, I am keeping a hold of his house key. Please find me if you need it. Regards, Josef Simon, beyond Venento's gardener. So he's the, the gardener of uh, of the next lord we're going to fight, which is probably the big werewolf. The biggest werewolf, because as we all know, um, much like firemen, um, werewolves operate in a pack hierarchy where the largest is the ruler. You know, very similar to Warcraft orcs in that respect. Whoever's the largest is the guy in chargest. Yeah, like, it's it makes sense that Ethan has skill with handguns now, based on that, that bit at the intro to the game. Oh, gunpowder. Now, I knew he was there. But I didn't think to, like, shoot him from around the corner, because I've gotten really overconfident at this point. These bandages are looking a bit tatty. He's at risk of sepsis at this rate. Biggest Werewolf is my favourite reality TV show, you're completely right. Although I did think it was a bit unreasonable in Season 4 when they wouldn't allow them to just run around in the wild and uh, eat deer in order to develop their size. Oh, a creepy doll! I wonder if this has any relevancy to the creepy doll, which is one of the four lords I'm supposed to be fighting. And again, this use of terminology is very FromSofty, it's quite strange that they have um, you know, the four lords here in the ancient land of Romania isn't. Um, Romaniist, perhaps. Actually, it's not very Romania. like Romania. Romania ain't? Yeah, we had that one last time. Um, it's honestly less Romania than most places. It's about 30% Romania per Romania, I think. Great British Werewolf is great. I really like that one. I mean, that's true. He didn't get sepsis in the first game, despite the fact that he regularly put his, like, freshly stapled back on. I can hear someone in here as well. This game needs a lean function. Um, I want to be able to lean around corners so that I can surprise them as much as they say. <gasps> the crank! I can I can interact with Wells, finally. That's how you can tell I'm doing well at this game. But up, up, but up, up. And, uh... I mean, 
Is it Romania? Then Resident Evil Four is Spain. I don't know. But uh, oh, there was a that must have been what that guy dropped when I shot him in the head, like uh, some kind of useless lemon. Chickens. So this is the other side of the locked gate. There's probably going to be a scripted thing. But um, my voice is starting to give out, and let's not forget, I am still a year later struggling with, like, post-Covid syndrome bullshit. So that probably is going to be it for today, once I get back to the save point. So, yeah. Um, join me next Monday, I believe, for exploring this house, which clearly has someone in it still, since there's a fire going, and that's the universal sign for this building is occupied. I wonder if I should go back to the shop, man. Um, but we can do that another time, or I can do it off stream. That's also fine. So I just remembered this is not the building with the save point in it. But I've had a lovely time. It's been really great to see so many people around. Um, I think I hit 15 people at one point. I know like two or three of those at least were bots, but it's still very, very nice to see that. Um, and thank you all for sticking with me for so long. I've had a lovely time. Um, I hope you all have had a lovely time too, or at least an adequate time. Here is the save point. The point is saved. So, catch me next time. Uh, if there's anyone here who hasn't already, please do check out my YouTube channel. Um, I have... I have really good Let's Plays on there. They're great and you might enjoy them quite a bit, so go check that out. It should be easy enough to find. Um, and if you aren't, um, you know, if you want to, you can support me on Patreon. Like, all of my Let's Plays and streams are going to be happening no matter what regardless, but if you want to give something to my existence, then uh, that is how you do that. Thank you again so much, everybody. Um, I'll send you a clip of that voice file, and then you will be like, yes, fantastic, and you can do whatever you like with it on your own time. Just don't tell me. That's true, I do have a Let's Play of Resident Evil 4, sadly unfinished, although I do intend to go back to it one day. But yeah, so that is going to be all from me. I've definitely saved like six times, but let's do it once more for safety, because I come from the early console generation and nobody ever quit their PlayStation without saving four times. So that really is all from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, Tessa's I don't know if you could hear that, but my girlfriend yelled from the other side of the room, bye-bye, Tessa's stream, which was very adorable for her, and... Um, just nice, I guess, but you probably couldn't hear that. Anyway, 